now here's my studio setup with my panels in here. They fit very perfectly just all around the desks and tables in here. You can see some of the artwork. You can see how it's kind of three-dimensional with layers. Kind of think of a diorama that you made when you were in fourth grade. A lot of the metal has a lot of texture on it. Use the MIG to get those that texture on that piece. I got some leaves. This one's called Love is in Your Hands. And then this right here, this piece, this is Chicago. I took a sunrise photo years and years ago. I've kind of offset it a little bit. And then you can see all the texture in the leaves and how it's layered. always do two at a time. I do one that's realistic and then I take that same image and I create the secondary image. I hang them together but they are sold separately. And these pieces, that's an interpretation from a piece when my sister and I walked across Spain, as is that. This one is a little bit older style. Then here I do some smaller etched pieces where I use a chemical etching process to create these pieces. And you can see like the detail in the metal having been etched away. That was Cape May with the runner on the beach. I got Venice. This one's called Big Mouth. And this one was from a trip. That's an interpretation from when my sister and a friend of hers went to Big Bend National Park. This is California, right there. And this guy, this is guy or girl, I'm not sure which it is, from Costa Rica. And I went with some friends a few years ago. The X's are from Glacier National Park. Mount Rainier. Yellowstone. I have to go back to Yellowstone though. These are some etched pieces of our walk across Spain. another one from our walk across Spain. And you can see different layers in there. And this is the interpretation from that piece. And this piece right here, it's called Bridging the Gap. It's one that I took that photo last fall at the 360 Bridge, also known as a Pennybacker Bridge here in Austin. It's one of my favorites, and it's also a little offset. 